Afternoon, welcome to Clay Knob Farms. Today we're gonna film a little something different, not so much of the milking. We're gonna um, check Belle for a, a DA, a displaced Apple Mason. I don't really think that she has one. Um, looking at her manure, looks consistent with good rumination, ruminating and digestive system, but I just want to listen to her. I should be able to hear the rumination in her rumen. It just, um, it sounds just like a, like a, uh, like a grinding sound almost, or until you hear it, it's hard to explain what it sounds like. Um, just kind of look her over. She is a fresh cow. Um, so we'll walk in and do that. And then we can show you where she's at and how we're, how we have her right now and what the plan is for the future. Okay, so what we got is, this is an old barn. Um, this is my dad's place. Um, we used to keep our cattle over here when my dad milked. This was where the dry cows and then the heifers would be years ago. And then we had beef cattle and this would be in the springtime where they could have individual pens and they would be um, um, having their calves. And then we had a pasture out there. Right now, right now you can see we have her closed in but it's because everything is just, we've had a really wet spring and everything is really muddy. And so there's no sense in her going out there and getting her legs all muddy and everything. She's got a really comfortable spot here. We will come, what are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> we'll come in and we'll fork out the manure that we can and then we'll add fresh straw. Um, yeah, we use a lot of straw, but if I can keep her from getting mastitis, it'll be worth all the money that we use in straw. We're feeding her good second cutting. Um, this is not alfalfa. Um, this is actually, a, um, there's some grass in this, but this is a bird's foot tree foil. It has, it doesn't have as much protein as alfalfa, but it's a very, it's a clover type of plant and it, it has a lot of protein in it. It's really good for them. It's really good for cattle. Um, it's a little hard to dry and work with. That's why it's good that it has grass, but that is what we got available to us. And we cut it at a prime time when it was flowered and not mature. So it should have quite, probably, I'm guessing 16, 17% protein. So that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm really happy to see this right now, the way she's acting, how she's rubbing on me and stuff and what what she wants. I think she's getting irritated because we're not letting her in to have her grain yet. That's a good thing. That's a norm. She's a very friendly cow, but she's spoiled rotten. So she wants what she wants. So earlier today, she wasn't like that. She was just really quiet and standing in one position and um so um i could do this i could do this in the stanchion but i just soon have her do it here yeah i'll tell you what i'm doing here in a minute when i get done Really good news, Bell does not have a DA at all. What I was listening for was when you, so the, 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 the stomach will, will fill with gas because it doesn't, it, it has too much fines in it and it'll float to the top. And when you tap right in here, it almost sounds like if you take a knife and hit the top of an empty tin can, it's a ting ting, it's a really defined sound. But as soon as I put the stethoscope, she has got so much rumination. Um, I wish you could hear it. It just sounds like a, a little machine running in her a little bit. And so um, I just wanted to check her. It only takes a minute. And yeah, I don't want her to go too long because that can be fixed. We can have the vet out. And what you do is you roll them up and you actually roll them a certain way so the belly comes back down and untwists. And then you actually pin that stomach down and there's a little button under her belly that you have to cut off later. And it's, but something that you want to catch early. You don't want to let it go because 
she'll lose weight and then she just don't feel good. So we're gonna get the milk in. Um, these guys over here, this is our gonna be our future milking cow. This is pumpkin because she was we got her right at Halloween. She is gonna be a huge cow. Um, and she is just the friendliest cow I've ever had. It's so affectionate. And then that cow, that steer over there is actually Mackenzie's 4-H calf. And we um, have them separated because we had them with some littler ones and they need more grain. These, she does not. She is growing really good. She doesn't need to be any bigger than she is. So you really don't gain a lot by getting them too big and too fat. Um, a fat dry cow, a fat cow actually has more health problems than, than, a, than a skinny one. So, um, and he is old enough where there's a certain weight that we got to hit. So we're kind of slowing him down a little bit. They're still getting good hay and fresh water, um, but we're only giving them a little bit of grain just to keep them from being too mad. But as you can see, she is a pain in the butt, and she's going to be a big pain in the butt when she's a huge cow, because she's going to do nothing but bug you every time you're in there with her. So we're going to milk. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.